morning everybody today I'm here in the preserving kitchen and I am going to be talking to you about jars different types of jars so there are lots and lots of different types of jars out there that can be used for preserving your food and lots of jars out there that just shouldn't be used for preserving their foods no matter what is written on the label and what it says that they can and can't do so today I'm going to go over a few of the jars that I use that are not a Vicola a jar I do generally um, probably 80% of my canning in Vicola jars and of these these are size 31 Vicola jars they come in all different sizes uh, but they're a three piece system then this is what majority of Australians would be able to get quite cheaply. The ball jars and that they, from America, they are really expensive here in Australia and can be difficult to actually get hold of as well. So, um, but basically the Vicola jar, it's a jar. It has Vicola along with its size. This is a um, 31, this jar here. It then has a seal that goes around the top here, which is what seals the jar closed. Then it has a lid that goes on top, and then a clip that goes on to hold the lid in place while you're putting it through the processor. And once the jar has been through the processor and it has been 24 to 48 hours, you then remove the clip off the jar and the jar is then sealed and that's how you put it away. Um, the failure rate of these, I've, I've had next to no jars not seal um, with the Vicola system. So I highly recommend the Vicola jars here in Australia. Um, they can be quite easy to get second hand um, depending on what area you're in. I actually have an, a lot of them. I've had a lot of people um, that I've been able to buy them off and I have probably I have never counted how many I have, but I would say probably maybe a thousand jars. I have a lot of jars and they come from all, I have all the different sizes from a size 14, a 20, a 31, a 27, uh, the 63s and I have recently acquired uh, one size 10. Uh, the size 31s and 27s are the most common jars to get your hands onto and they are quite easy to get your hands onto. You can buy these jars still brand new. Uh, I would recommend that you just go onto the Vicola website and uh, order them on there. That is probably the cheapest way to do it. Um, I am not affiliated with them, but I do encourage people to use the Focola system because it is really easy. It's really simple to use. You can use it and use them in a pressure canner. So if you want to do pressure canning, you can use the Focola systems for pressure canning. You only need one clip when you are doing any of it. Um, it's because if you put two clips on, especially with pressure canning, the uh, there is too much pressure pushing on the lid which will cause uh, your food and your liquid to siphon out when the pressure changes in the, the uh, pressure canner. Just make sure that when you are purchasing your pressure canner to use with the Vicola jars that you measure the, the tallest jar you're using. So the tallest jar you would probably use in a pressure canner is the 27. I wouldn't recommend the bigger ones because there is no time allocated for them. Um, but if you use the size 27s and measure that with the clip on and then measure the inside of the pot from the bottom to the lip of the, the, the pot of your pressure cooker and you need to make sure that your jar is actually going to fit in the pressure cooker without touching the lid. I have the biggest pressure cooker. Um, I can't remember offhand what size it is but it's an All-American and I think that the All-Americans uh, a brilliant machine to be using the the uh, Vicola jars in because you can get the really tall one. It is a bit weighty, that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you are seriously wanting to look into pressure canning, I find that the All American is the easiest and the best way to go when it comes to pressure canning with a Vicola jar. Uh, you can buy those in Australia. I think it's called. 
and Oz Farmers, I think that, that that place is called where you can get that from. You can get them from over eat overseas and have them brought in, but with the way things are, it may take a lot longer. I think I waited something like two months for mine to turn up, but I am glad that I bought it and I'm not looking back from what, having it having it. So that is the main jars that I use, which is the Focal system. Now the other things I do, because I do some things in uh, the Vicola jars, they are really good, uh, but to get the smaller jars, it can be a lot harder to get hold of them. So there are times when I need to can a small quantity of, of whatever it happens to be. Um, at the moment, it happens to be passion fruit. We don't use a size 31 jar of passion fruit within a couple of days. So to put the passion fruit into a size 31 jar is silly, really. So. I have, with the passion fruit, tried uh, several different jars to see if they are actually going to seal and or stay sealed. Um, these specific jars are from Red Dot. So, for those of you who question, you know, are those jars good, are they not good, some of them are and some of them aren't and I will show you in just a minute which ones I recommend and which ones I don't recommend. So. Um, I've done it with the passion fruit because the passion fruit is basically not really cost me anything to produce it. If, at the end of the day, if the jar didn't seal, I knew that I could put the, put the content straight into the freezer and it would be frozen and I would be able to keep the passion fruit that way. Now, I did a fair few jars of passion fruit because I had something like three and a half, four kilos of passion fruit and I still have more passion fruit to do. And yes, guys, I did do a video on uh, counting passion fruit, so I'll get that one linked at the end of the video for you and down in the description so you can go and check that one out when you're finished here with the jars. So, um, so I went into Red Dot. I don't like to pay a lot of money for my jars. I'm even with my Fecola jars. I have a set amount. I don't like to pay any more than $3 a jar. And if I'm buying a large quantity of jars, I don't like to pay more than $2 a jar. Um, for the second hand ones. The biggest thing with that is um, one last, one of the lots that I did get, it was a large quantity of jars. Um, you're looking at a hundred odd jars when I buy jars at a time. Um, a majority of those jars had some sort of chip or crack or defect which reduced what I was able to use them for. So anything with chips in it, I had to just use for dry goods. Uh, anything that has a flaw in the making of the jar, uh, basically I can't pressure cook in them because the pressure would be too much for the jar and it would more than likely break. So I don't like to pay any more than two to three dollars a jar. Um, for the Ricola jars. Now when it comes to different types of jars that you go to the shop to buy um, that uh, have written on them uh, that they can be used for home preserving, I don't personally like to pay more than a dollar per jar for them as well because the lids are one time use only. They are not reusable whereas um, the stainless steel lids for the Ricola jars are reusable. The clips are also reusable as well. The seals are not, but a pack of seals is about $6 for 12 of them. So they're only about probably about 50 odd cents per seal. So the cost of using Ricola jars is next to nothing once you've purchased stainless steel lids and clips and uh, the jars themselves. So the only recost is the 50 cents for the uh, the seal so uh, guys these jars from red dot um, some of them are good some of them are not so the jars from uh, red dot come in a couple of different brands now there are these ones in front of me here which are called the lemon and lime glassware and then there's these are the smaller ones here which are Spice Kitchen. But majority of the ones that you get from Red Dot are the lemon and lime glassware. Now the other jars in there, any of the other brands that are there, don't even look at them. Um, they are not worth 
buying they are no good i have taken just you just find a jar or a packet that you can get into take a look at the seal and you can just tell by looking at the seal if a jar is just not worth using because it's not going to seal if it doesn't have a really good looking nice thick seal in it it is not going to seal at all so I will start by recommending if you're going to Red Dot to get your jars, these are basically disposable jars where you use them once and throw them away. I am yet to find somewhere I can replace the lids on these, um, but I am still looking to get try and do that. So, so it's called Lemon and Lime Giftwares. Um, they are awesome jars. These ones here are the ones with the with the red and white striped lid. A lot of people do not like these. Now, I've been using these for quite a few years now. I normally only do jams in them. Um, I recently, last year, started doing chutneys in them. I have still got jars in the cupboard that are about six months old. They have not broken the seals at all. Um, I have also recently started doing tomatoes in them because sometimes when my daughter is cooking, she cooks half a kilo of mints and a size 31 Vicola jar, which is double the size of this, is too much for half a kilo. So she was opening a large jar and then I was having to find a way to use the second half of the jar. Um, so I have done the tomato as well in these jars and they are all nice and sealed. Now, some people are going to tell you that anything acidic will uh, cause some damage to the inside of this lid and then uh, when that happens you need to tur turf whatever it is that's in that jar. Yes, it can. It can corrode the inside of the lid. And unless the inside of the lid is actually touching the food that is in the jar, you can still eat that food. There is nothing wrong with it. It is not it is not mold. It is not botulism, it, botulism, it, botulism inside the jar. It is just the lid having a reaction to the content. Now, the ball jars with their flat lids, they do the same thing. You put something acidic like a, a relish or something like that into the jar and they're in that jar long enough and it has got some of the product on the lid, it will do exactly the same thing. So, these jars will do the same thing if they have acidic in them. Now, um, these jars are probably my main jar that I actually use. These come in three different sizes I use. So there's this little bitty, bitty one here which I've been doing the passion fruit in. This is a 100 ml jar. It comes in a four pack for $5. So these jars are a little on the expensive side for my liking. It's about a dollar twenty-five per jar. They, I don't like to pay that much for a jar, but I wanted to try these out and see if they were actually worth paying the money for. Yes, they're worth paying the money for, but unless these things can come in a bigger pack of more than four um, I won't buy these very often um, so I used two of these jars when I did the passion fruit both of them sealed they went through the simple natural Vicola unit they both came out sealed not an issue they are easy to tell that they are sealed because they become concave so once they are sealed they become concave and the top doesn't move as well once they've sealed. Um, they are easy to see if the lids have released so you know if the lid has come loose. So I recommend these. They come in the three size which is the four pack for five dollars so a dollar twenty five for the hundred ml jars. Great thing for gifts if you want to give away gifts. They also come in the 230 ml jars. Uh, this is a 12 pack for $12 so these are a dollar a jar these are great for jams and chutneys um, that sort of thing that you only want a small amount of they are excellent for that as well 
Then they also come in the 500 ml jars as well. The 500 ones uh, that I have purchased, they are an eight pack and they are $14.99 a pack of eight. These again are that a little more expensive, um, but they, they're a dollar, uh, about a dollar eighty per jar. Um, they again are on the more expensive side mm -hmm. as well. And I, I don't like to pay that much for a jar. And this is why I am trying to find lids to replace the jars. Um, I do think that value for money, the 230 size ones are the best value for money. This is also why I decided to have a look at a couple of different brands um, to see if I can get a cheaper jar than this. $1.80 a jar, I can go to the shop and buy a tin of tomatoes for less than that. I know that it's not going to be as nice and it's going to have uh, all these preservatives and everything else added to it, um, but sometimes it comes down to money at the end of the day. If you're not worried about what your jars are paying, paying for, I highly recommend these jars with the red and white stripes on top of them from Red Dot. They are my favourite. Um, I'm hoping to find cheaper ones but at this rate I, at the way things are going I have actually seen the prices of these come up slightly since I have bought these only about a dollar or something like that but it does make a difference now uh, this specific brand these specific ones here uh, it says on the label that they're ideal for food preserving ideal for home food preserving and more they're dishwasher safe and they have airtight lids bonus these are probably the best ones and the ones that I highly recommend that you go and buy if you don't want to have the cola jars and you just want to have these and just uh, throw away jars. The lids on these, um, they are one time use only. I have never and I will never retry to use them again. The lids themselves do get a bit on the inside of them, especially when you're doing high acidity stuff. Like I said, they get that corrosion on the inside of the lids. So when I find somewhere that I can just keep the jars and replace the lids, I'm going to be happy because it'll be a lot cheaper to do it that way. But we're moving on to the next lot of jars so that I can show you the other jars I've used um, with the passion fruit and whether or not I recommend them or whether I think that you should just stick with them. Oh, and yes, you can use them in the pressure canner uh, because I have some of these tomatoes with pressure can and some of these tomatoes were uh, done through the Ricola and they also do really well in the water bath canner. So any way that you are canning, these jars do really well. So these again are the lemon lime glass where they're a 200 ml jar. Uh, they also state on the packaging exactly the same as the other ones because they're exactly the same brand uh, that they are ideal for home food preservation, that they're airtight and they're dishwasher safe. These guys have some cute little decorations on them and on the lid. Um, the seal inside them looks really good as well. Uh, and it has the button on the top that when you push you can hear it click um, which is a good way to see whether your jar has sealed or not um, I really don't have much to say about these jars they're cute yes they're cute uh, I put three of these into the uh, Vicola unit and out of three of them, I had to put two of them in the fridge because they did not seal. So these to me are a decorative jar, a little jar that you can go and put your, I don't know, put some jam in there, put the lid on and give it away and tell them to use it within the next couple of weeks, um, to put in some buttons and put in some dry goods put the lid on you know um, you want to make little giveaway gifts where they'd say hot chocolate drink mix with a cute little piece of fabric on top and a label on how to make them these would be great for that for ceiling jars no 
one out of three jars seal. To me, that is not a good enough sealing rate uh, straight up to have these and use these to seal. I was quite hesitant about using them when I first look at it, looked at them, um, but I figured that even if they if they don't seal, I know that um, I can use them in other ways, such as crafts and that kind of stuff as well. So that is what these will be used. These will be used for crafting and uh, storing of dry goods and that kind of stuff in them. They will not be used for sealing and canning of them as well. Uh, these jars are, this is an 18 pack, they are $18. So these little tiny 200 ml jars are a dollar a jar, which is around the same price as some of the other jars that I'm using as well. These little ones with these are $1.25, so they're another 25 cents. Pay the 25 cents. Please pay the 25 cents and get these. If you don't like the little colour lids and you want to give them away for presents, put a little piece of cloth over the top and cover it up. Make it pretty. These are pretty. They do not seal. Um, a two out of three did not seal. Please don't waste your time. They are useless for sealing. These jars. These are a pack of four for $4. These are the spice kitchen jars i bought two of each of these packs of jars um, i put four of each through with the passion fruit in them the only difference between these two sets of jars is one is a gold lid and one is a silver lid um from what i can tell they have all sealed they are all still sitting on the kitchen bench so that i'm watching them to see if they start fermenting or if they start getting mold or anything like that in there they've been there for more than a week they look like they've sealed uh, but in saying that they look like they've sealed it is not easy to see, to see if they have actually sealed so this is the empty jar there is no push down button on it. Uh, you can feel it moving when you push on it, but it's not really easy to tell if the lids are sealed or not. The lid seals inside these looks, looks great. A dollar a jar, they are cute. Um, you know, silver or gold lid, you can have either you want. But even once they are sealed, which I believe this jar is, you still can't tell because you still have the same amount of give um, in the lid or the lack of give in the lid. So that's why they're still sitting on the bench. I cannot actually physically tell by just looking at them or by pushing down on top of them whether they have sealed or not. I believe that they have sealed. Uh, but time will tell whether they have or not. Now, these again, they are cute little jars. It says on here they're preserving jars. They have an extra strong, heavy, heavyweight design. Um, individual jars is a 60 mil jar. So really, you know, it's ideal size jar for passion fruit. Because, I mean, how much passion fruit do we use in one go? Not a lot. Um, and that it says that they are perfect for uses for wedding bonbons and party gifts, ideal for preserving jams, jellies, sauces, chutneys, honey, mustard, and any other small fruit. I'm not sure how you're getting fruit in these little jars, but you know, except for passion fruit, obviously. Um, these, I am still not 100% sure whether these are sealed. So. Realistically, I won't recommend these because it is very, very difficult to tell if they're sealed or not. I thought that once they had sealed, I would be able to tell by pushing the lid and being able to see if it's moving or not. Um, but it is not easy at all to tell the difference whether it is sealing or not. Um, 
they would make great little jam sample pots, uh, that kind of thing, you know, uh, little herb jars, you can put in some herbs and that kind of stuff if you want to give away little bits of herbs and things like that. Um, they, to me, they are a really good size for the passion fruit, but because I cannot actually physically tell and if they were to release their seal, I would not know until the product is moldy on the shelf. So if I was to preserve, what did I get? 16 jars of passion fruit this way. And that was all my passion fruit that I was getting for the year. And that was what all I wanted. And I put them on the shelf and a few weeks later, I come to have a look and get one and found that they were all moldy. I would be extremely disappointed. So guys, again, spend the extra 25 cents and go with these jars. Uh, for an extra 25 cents, I have the peace of mind of knowing that I can actually see that these jars have actually sealed compared to a jar that is very difficult to see if I can, if it has actually sealed or not. It now comes to the last lot of the new jars that I was trying out. These again are the lemon and lime. I do not try any of the other brands because I can just by looking at them, they just look like they're not going to be any good. So this is a 12 pack for $16.99. That makes them $1.40 per jar. They are 150 mil. They're cute. They're the next size up to these jars. Uh, they are very, very similar to these jars in the way that the lid looks. Uh, these ones have a little bit of a different look to the lid. This one has a more flatter lid on it as well. Um, and they are just that little bit next size up. So they're $1.40 a jar. That to me is quite expensive for something this small. Uh, these are $1.25 for a 100ml jar. Yes. You know, it'd be nice to have that jar that's a little bit bigger, but it all comes down to the sealability of a jar. Again, looking at these jars, you know, you take the lid off, you have a look, the seal or looks like the seal will seal. They are just so super cute, these little jars. They almost remind me of those little glass milk bottles that um, we used, you could buy. You know, they're only about yay big and that's what they remind me of because the tops come in a little bit. Um, but obviously they're not milk bottles. Uh, so these again, I did do the passion fruit in here and I did put two of these jar two of these through and from what I can tell, they sealed. I haven't seen any fermenting or any mold happening um, as they sit on the, sh on the kitchen bench. Uh, again, these got these jars. Besides being a dollar forty a jar, are I like these jars. You can't actually tell. There is no button push in the. It it feels exactly the same. Maybe slightly firmer, just that tiny little bit firmer than a empty jar. This one has a bit more of a give than this one does. Um, but again. If this seal was to give away, I'm not going to be able to see that because the jar doesn't have the concaveness in them. So, um, again, I would seriously just steer clear of these as well. As much as they are exactly the same brand as the rest of these, the fact that you can't see if the jar is sealed or not sealed, you will not know if you go through and do all your passion fruit. These are ideal size. 150 mils. They're about the same size. I think it's 120 mils. You get the little cans in of passion fruit. Um, they are an ideal size. But again, you cannot actually tell without seeing the mold or fermenting in the jar that they have sealed. So these would be your best option. Dollar 25 a jar. They are slightly smaller than these. So this is 100 mils and this is 150 mils. Okay, so you're gonna need a few more of these than you are of these. But like I said, you can see the concaveness of the jar and you can see that the jar has sealed. And for that, I recommend the red and white lids. Um, you can see that they haven't sealed. It is just, for me, 
a lot safer to know that they have sealed and I haven't wasted my time and my food by seeing that seal. So, guys, jars. We all want cute little jars to put our food in, you know. We all want something like this to make some baby food to give away in or, you know, if you've got your own baby that you want to make baby food in. These are still just not really going to cut it. Um, if I'm feeding a baby, I want to know that the jar has sealed. The last thing I want to do is feed a baby food that's been in a jar that has not sealed and could potentially be very harmful. So this experiment of using all these different jars, yes, most of them have sealed, but I still don't know that they are 100% sealed until it comes to actually taking the lids off. And I'm not taking the lids off because I want them to be in a sealed jar to put them on the shelf. So in or saying all of that and looking at all the different types of jars, as much as these red and white jars, the prices of these are just that little bit more than any of these other jars that I have going around here. Um, some of them are a little more expensive like this one and you would think that the more expensive jar the better quality of the jar not always Correct it just means it's cost them more to make the jar and they're charging you for it um, so These are my favorite these I will stick with All of these other jars that I have here. No, it wasn't a waste of money I will still use these jars. They'll be just used in different ways uh, they'll be used as spice jars, they'll be used for craft jars, they'll be used for sample pots. Um, you know, these jars, these are awesome little jars. When you make some jam or something, there's always that little bit left over. Use these guys, put it in the fridge and you are definitely going to know if it's set by the next day or if you've got an issue with your jams or whether you need to call it a syrup instead of a jam or a cordial instead of a jam you know um so they are going to be great for little sample pots if i want to give make some jam and i just want to give something to someone to taste to see if they like it these are going to be great for that so that's my recommendation you go with the red and white lids or your Focola system you just need to get out there and get on facebook buy and sells in your local areas um, mostly the ones in the smaller communities, um, small towns, those are the places you are going to find your Vicola jars. Um, you know, get into a group, a small town that's within whatever you're happy to drive. You know, if you only want to drive an hour to pick up something, go and get onto all those little places and their buy and sells and those little groups. And that is where you will get your Vicola uh, jars second hand. If you don't want to go down the track of having to do all of that and you're happy to buy the one-time use jars, please guys, I know there's people out there that reuse them, but the seals are not designed to be used more than once. See if you can find replacement lids and give it a go that way. I'm still looking at uh, whether I'm going to get by relationship replacement lids or whether I'm just going to continue buying the jars this way. Um, I do use the plastic uh, seals for jams and stuff like that. They work really well as well as long as someone doesn't poke a hole in it while it's sitting on the shelf and it dries out. Uh, yes, one of the kids do that. <laughs> or it could have been a cat. Who knows? But um, these are my best recommendation out of the out of the four different types of jars I you have tried and experimented with. I definitely recommend these guys. All right, guys, that is me. That is it for today. Talking about the jars and letting you know what type of jars that I use. Uh, so don't forget, I'm going to throw some videos up the side here for you. So hit the subscribe button up there. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comment. Um, if you want to know anything else about the Vicola jars, 
um, anything else about this, anything that may have I may not have covered in this video that you might like to know, uh, just leave it down in the comments. And until I see you again here in the preserving kitchen, happy preserving.